I'm Owen Coggins. I'm in the Faculty of Arts in the Music and Religious Studies department at the Open University. Um, my research is about drone metal mysticism. Um, what initially drew me to the topic is um, a particular type of extreme underground heavy metal music called drone metal. Now what's interesting about drone metal for me is that it's uh, a significant departure from more traditional heavy metal in two ways. One, the sound. It's very, very long, very slow, very deep, but it's still got that distorted focus on feedback that you find in a lot of heavy metal. And the other difference is the, the difference in its engagement with religion. So for example, in black metal, you have a very antagonistic relation with religion and Christianity in particular. Here there's a, a, a guy who burnt a church and then put that on his album cover. Whereas in drone metal, this is a drone metal album cover, they're much more positively disposed to religion and, dis and engage with a much wider range of religious traditions. So for example here, you have them using an image from a Byzantine icon. Um, the name of the band is Om, which is a reference to Tibetan Buddhism and sound. And Advaitic Songs is the name of the album, so that's a reference to Hindu religion. And on the album there's references to Sufi um, mysticism and a range of other uh, different types of religion. So my question is, to what extent can drone metal be heard as a mystical tradition? Uh, people who listen to this kind of music tend to um, step away from uh, describing it as religious and more, more spiritual. I want to get away from that, uh, that dichotomy between religious and spiritual and suggest that it's a mystical tradition. At what point is there a change between from a uh, tradition of sound, recordings, music and texts which refers to religion, which talks about religion? At what point can this tradition actually become religious or mystical or spiritual itself? Um, one of the ways that I'm trying to find that out is going to concert performances and doing participant observation ethnography there. But also what I'm really interested in is following up, speaking to people about um, their experiences of concerts and their experiences, how they use recordings in their everyday lives, particularly with reference to religion. So, the, for example, mystical experience is something that people talk a lot about when they come back from concerts and when, also when they're listening to records. They describe it as a mystical experience, a ritual experience, and a spiritual experience. And this also kind of, um, these descriptions uh, in religious terms also, uh, people speak about their recordings and how they use their recordings in spiritual terms. Um, I interviewed three people who'd been to this concert for my pilot study, Grave Temple, which actually took place in this building, uh, which is a church in uh, the Netherlands. Um, and uh, there was some different responses. One person said that they had no religious affiliation whatsoever, but that they described the concert in religious terms. They said it was a dark ceremony, and he described the ritual of listening to records. Another person said that they um, converted to Buddhism at a similar time to when they started listening to drone metal and related religious practice to listening to music in that way. And another person uh, that I interviewed said that um, he meditated, he tried to meditate every day, and often listened to this kind of music specifically because it helped him meditate. So, um, I'm interested in finding out how people use their recordings as well as performances. Um, and this contributes to kind of wider discussions about secularization. There's a lot of talk about people who aren't so committed to institutional religion, but I feel that uh, religion and spiritual practices are still really important things in people's lives. And so this is just one example of uh, a much wider range of people engaging with spiritual practices, often from a range of different traditions, and creating their own kind of uh, spiritual practice that works for them. Thank you.